Hey guys, how are we doing? It's Cam back at you again. Today we're taking a look at a lick in the style of... You can probably guess after you've heard it. Yeah, it was Satchel. What can I say? I confess, I know I've played a lot of his stuff before. But this lick has really, really inspired me in many ways. I basically nicked it from his solo spot. Uh, I thought if he actually played it at the gig, I got on stage with him. And what's really cool is it's mainly pentatonic, as you can see. Uh, but it's a great way of mixing up the positions to create something really spicy without doing too much. Which is, in the grand scheme of things, it's what all guitar players really want to do, isn't it? But what I really love about this is it also includes a lot of bending. And it's a true exercise of how well you can do your vibrato, some really extreme bending, and I'll show you how I've mixed it up into my own playing. I absolutely adore this, like it's fantastic. So that's about as slow as I can do it before I start playing things wrong. And the way it works is we are playing various different pentatonic positions and taking different notes out of them to fit within the key. In this case, we're in E minor. And what's really cool is we sort of start off in A minor and then drift into E minor with almost seamlessly. It's really cool. So, starting off, we're in this position here. Alright, and then it's 20 fret, high E string, bend uh, 19 up, half a step, let it down, then we get this little sequence here. We have to get a lot of vibrato on that full step bend there on the 20th fret of the B string. Okay, and then we get a little connect a little connective lick here at the end where we do 17th fret of the high E. And then we slide from the 20th fret of the B string down to the 15th fret. Then we play another lick in the key of E minor and the E minor pentatonic position. With the exception of the blues note here. We can, with this little lick here, which is a little bit more familiar, I think. I'll just take that through slowly. Add that little microtonal bend on there if you can. 12th fret. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slide down from the 12th fret of the, of the G string to the seventh fret there, so then we're going to play this. Okay, and what we're doing there is we're mixing up the B minor, what feels like the B minor pentatonic position, and the A minor pentatonic position, taking the, the relative notes out to fit in E minor. This is the clever part of this lick. It samples from different positions. Right, I'll give you a little close-up of that, actually. Okay, and that's the end of the lick there. And then you can, what's really important with this is that it opens up so many different opportunities for you here. So, uh, another nifty trick with this as well is that you can actually play all of them in one position and still remain within the key. So I'll just show you how that works. <laughs> See, it's exactly the same lick except we didn't go anywhere, but look how restricted you are. Yeah. 
See, you've got a really good lick there, and that's brilliant, in the one position, but if you actually mix the positions up, you have loads of different licks and bends at your disposal. And then if you were to start off in one of the uh, lower positions here... But especially when you use these lower ones here. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I'm just trying to show you how this can really, really transfer and transform, I should say, your playing. It really, really works for me and it will help with your improvising in a big way even if it means breaking it up into little chunks and then applying it to the rhythm and that's it thanks so much for watching this video you guys hope you've what you've seen if you want some more steel panther just give me a shout and i'll catch you again in the next video and follow me on instagram at guitar man camp